In mathematics, a set S in the Euclidean space Rn is called a star domain or star convex set, star-shaped set or radially convex set if there exists an x0 in S such that for all x in S the line segment from x0 to x is in S. This definition is immediately generalizable to any real or complex vector space. Intuitively, if one thinks of S as of a region surrounded by a wall, S is a star domain if one can find a vantage point x0 in S from which any point x in S is within line of sight. A similar, but distinct, concept is that of a radial set. Examples <laughs> 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 Any line or plane in Rn is a star domain. A line or a plane with a single point removed is not a star domain. If A is a set in Rn, the set B equals T A A element of A T element of zero. One display style b equals ta a in a t in zero one obtained by connecting all points in a to the origin as a star domain. Any non-empty convex set is a star domain. A set is convex if and only if it is a star domain with respect to any point in that set. A cross-shaped figure is a star domain but is not convex. A star-shaped polygon is a star domain whose boundary is a sequence of connected line segments. Topic properties The closure of a star domain is a star domain, but the interior of a star domain is not necessarily a star domain. Every star domain is a contractible set, via a straight-line homotopy. In particular, any star domain is a simply connected set. Every star domain, and only a star domain, can be shrunken into itself, i.e., for every dilation ratio R the union and intersection of two star domains is not necessarily a star domain. A nonempty open star domain S in Rn is diffeomorphic to Rn. See also Art gallery problem Star polygon Balanced set